I'm Dr. Raphael Stricker. I'm a practicing physician in San Francisco. I have over 3,000 Lyme disease patients in my practice, and I'm on the board of directors of LymeDisease.org. So Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease. Uh, it affects more than 300,000 patients per year in the United States. Uh, it is a growing epidemic. It's six times more common than HIV AIDS, uh, almost twice as common as breast cancer. And unfortunately, even with all those numbers, we have a very limited knowledge of the extent and the severity of this disease. And we really need more numbers uh, to understand the disease better. Well, as I said, I have over 3,000 Lyme disease patients in my practice. Uh, they come to me from all over the country and all over the world. What is striking is how similar all of their stories are and also how sick these patients are and also how they've been neglected by and large by the medical community. So this is a huge problem and until we get better information about all these sick Lyme patients, it's going to be very hard to change the status quo and to get the medical community to pay more attention to patients with Lyme disease. Since Lyme disease is um, very common, uh, it would be good to capture those people who have the disease in studies so that we can understand the disease better. Again, up to now, we've only had small numbers of Lyme disease patients who have been studied, and it would be very helpful to have much larger numbers of patients to understand the natural history of the disease and um, how people uh, get the disease and, and how they deal with it. Big data is a big deal these days, and everyone wants big data. They want large numbers of patients to figure out how to deal with diseases. So this is a fantastic opportunity to get that kind of big data in a way that's protected and confidential and that would really benefit patients in the Lyme community.